Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope you're all having an amazing week so far. And as we are getting closer to the middle point of June, which basically is really going to be when John and Dave kickstart their marketing plan for the Ahsoka Tano series, just ahead of its final trailer that is set to debut sometime in early July. So looking forward to that as well. We have a lot of things going on right now between many of the Star Wars movies, the Star Wars TV shows, the books, the comics, and yes, even the video games. That's making up this entire Star Wars universe at hand. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. And without further ado, let's get right into exactly what's going on here with the Rey-centered Star Wars movie, actress Daisy Ridley, and more to do with the Disney executives. Now, one thing that we do know is that there's a lot of fans that are really against the return of Rey, specifically, of course, in a movie, no less. And the reason being behind that is the fact that not only do we have a very unknown writer working on this thing, Stephen Knight, a lot of people don't really know who he is. He's worked on a couple things here and there. But if you look at his average material, a lot of things really didn't work out well. If you're judging by Rotten Tomatoes, which I know is not the best thing to go by at times, but it gives you a bit of an idea of his track record. Now, looking at Daisy Ridley, there's been a lot of drama happening behind closed doors, specifically for this Ray movie, or as I like to call it, the New Jedi Order movie, whatever you want to call it, whatever have you. But what's interesting about all of this is exactly what Disney is currently planning to do to remove Daisy Ridley altogether because there's been a lot of problems arising. So let's get right into all of this. Now, of course, on top of this, with many movies and shows currently in development at Disney for Star Wars, there is one in particular that has been going through many issues behind the scenes. This involves the new Jedi Order film, known as the Rey movie. However, in a new big development relating to the Rey-centered Star Wars film, Disney executives and the board are beginning to, of course, pressure Bob Iger, the CEO, to fire actress Daisy Ridley from the new Jedi Order film, as she is beginning to make things difficult for the production by demanding a 50% pay increase. However, that's not the only factor. Disney is beginning to grow less and less confident with this Rey film, since they have been investing their time researching what fans are interested in. Recently, Disney created an entire team that researches social media to see what fans want to see on the big screen or at home on Disney Plus for the Star Wars franchise. And they have now noticed the ever-evolving lack of interest in Rey's return to a Star Wars film. Now, let me just be very honest with you guys. Look, I'm open to if they really want to change Rey's character, like from the ground up, if they really want to reinvent the character, which by the way, John and Dave are doing in their post-episode 9 series. So this firing plan of theirs for Daisy Ridley only pertains to the Rey movie so far, not to the Rey series or to the post-episode 9 series that's going to feature Rey to be more specific. It's not going to be a Rey show. Let's just make that clear. But what's interesting to me about this is how a lot of this started happening when Daisy was demanding a higher pay. And look, I'm all for that. I understand that. You know, if you're an actress and you're coming back to a major IP, to a major, you know, um, product as big as Star Wars, a big franchise like this, and you're being paid 50% less than you were in episode nine, that's a big deal. That's a big problem. And even though, yeah, she is considered a supporting character or supporting actress in this upcoming movie, she's reportedly said to have just the same amount of screen time or near to it as she did in episode 9. So she's basically a main character if you think about it. So I can see why she would want more, you know, income for this film. Mainly because she's not been getting a lot of jobs, she's not been getting a lot of movie deals or roles, at least on a blockbuster level, so I could see why she would have that concern. But moving to the more important stuff here is that additionally, Disney is planning to fire Ridley also over the fact that they don't want another Last Jedi situation or backlash that would destroy their momentum for Star Wars returning to the cinema. Their plan to fire Ridley is said to involve if, and only if, the lack of interest for Rey's return continues for the next several months that they are going to decide to exclude her from the story. 
This is, of course, going to not involve the Ray's return in John and Dave's post-episode 9 series, just to be specific, which will completely reinvent and change the character and her backstory. So again, we talked about this just a couple days ago, too, of how John, Dave, and George are creating a plan to erase the whole Ray Palpatine thing and just make her into a Ray Kenobi-esque character to give her that Kenobi backstory. That's basically what they are doing, and they want to revive J.J. Abrams' original idea for what he had planned for the sequel trilogy that never came to light because of Kathleen Kennedy. Again, when you look at stuff like this, it's a drama, once again, it's another big problematic situation after the other, and it gets a little tiresome, I agree with that, I understand that. But there's also a lot of good coming towards Star Wars. I will admit, John and Dave really know what they're doing with Ahsoka. They know what they're doing with Mando Season 4 now, and a lot of other unannounced projects. And they have a very big plan of theirs they're sticking with to revive Legend stories strictly in their upcoming Mandoverse era projects and movies. All right. Now, next up, their plan to fire Ridley is set to involve if the lack of interest for Ray's return continues for the next batch of months, and so their firing plan would only pertain to the film, not the actual New Jedi Order series. If this goes through, Stephen Knight would have to rewrite the entire script, and they are considering Dave Filoni's movie to come out first to kickstart the momentum again for Star Wars, and to erase any potential backlash similar to The Last Jedi for a starting point. So again, it's all about that starting point that they want to avoid. They don't want another Last Jedi situation as the first movie in 2025. And to be honest with you guys, I will be very blunt. I don't see this movie coming out in 2025. I just don't see it happening. I believe it's why they did not give us a release date window at Celebration because they are going into all of these setbacks and delays and the writer's strike is going into a lot of issues right now. So, maybe at the latest, we could see this as perhaps a May 2026 release date if everything goes according to plan. And look, I mean, the, the, the backlash of Ray's return is growing. A lot of fans don't want her back, but you also have fans that do want her back. So, it's going to be hard for Disney to really decide on this, but they do want her out. They want to eventually fire her if this is going to continue to grow and show the lack of interest for Ray's return. And look, I think that a lot of this is rooted to how Disney was so naive and so kind of, I guess you could say, not paying attention here with the sequel trilogy back in 2019, where they never really saw the amount of people that had a problem with the direction of the sequels. So now they realize that after forming this social media team, so to speak, that actually researches what the fans want to see, what the fans are, don't want to see, to really ensure that they are going to succeed with these upcoming projects. So anyways, guys, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time. Gun in hand, we are alone again. No, I am not the one. From nights alone, we hear them moans again. No.